About a week ago, I unboxed the uh, Slingbox 500 device on iDownload blog, and I've told you I was going to come back with a more comprehensive review of the Sling Player app, which actually benefits from the Slingbox 500. Uh, as you can see here, here is the app itself. Uh, the app runs $9.99 on the iPhone, and for the iPad enabled version, I think it's $14.99. You have to buy those separately, unfortunately. Um, it has various settings. Uh, you can stream media from your phone or your tablet directly to the sling box which connects to your tv and then you can set up individual streaming options for cellular and wi-fi so if you want to set a different streaming option for cellular as opposed to wi-fi it's totally feasible to do so you can do that which is a really nice feature i like that you have launch preferences which allow you to automatically connect and watch tv this is the whole point of a sling box is to stream your television from anywhere in the world pretty much. So this allows you to set up that. You can set up a home channel if you want to do that. Lots of settings here to really get a good customizable, uh, personalized experience for your particular needs. And with the Sling Player, you can set up your favorite channels in the guide. If you open up the guide here, you'll notice the favorites. You have all HD and favorites. So it's really nice because it separates the three. Uh, usually, if you're watching television, you're going to want to watch in HD. So it's nice that it separates those from the rest of the pack. And then you have your favorites on top of that, which you can customize, add your favorite channels. You can quickly access the stuff that you like to watch all the time, which is obviously really nice. And these can be editable. Uh, as you can see here, here is actually a live stream. It's a commercial on ESPN, and you can control that, or you can switch channels easily. You can see what's coming up in the future. All sorts of neat things that you can do here. Here are all the HD channels that I'm scrolling through, and here are all the standard definition. This is just all the channels. Look at this. I have a total complete television set with me wherever I go in the world. It doesn't matter. And I can stream all this via Wi-Fi or via uh, LTE connectivity. And the LTE, LTE looks great. I'm gonna actually show that to you right now. So let's go back out and let's go to our settings. Let's disable the Wi-Fi connection here and turn that off. I can do it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm running totally on LTE cellular connection. You can see right there in the status bar. So let's load up and let's see how long it takes to load because I have it automatically to start up and start watching when I invoke Sling Player. So it's starting and spinning. And there we go. We're watching live television just like that. Super easy and it's over LTE. And you can see the quality is really good, almost on par with that of the Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a fast cellular connection like LTE, then you're gonna really benefit from that using the Sling Player. Now obviously this does take a lot of data, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, looking at my data usage, it wasn't that bad. I watched an entire football game streaming over um, LTE and it wasn't bad. You can see you can adjust the quality settings right there on the fly if you wanna do that. Uh, there are some more settings to disconnect, to choose your source that connects via HDMI or via component. You have other things like letterboxing, etc. So lots of options, lots of ways you can configure this to your needs. And then you have the remote control. You can actually control, use the full remote control right there on the fly. You can even rewind live television if you have it hooked up to a DVR system as I do. So I'm actually going to rewind this television show or this commercial or whatever I'm watching. Who knows? And as you can see, it's rewinding just like that. And I just tap play and it starts up where it left off or it starts up where it stopped in the rewind process. There we go. So full DVR at your disposal right there from anywhere in the world. I'm telling you folks, it's if you pay as much as you do for cable, it's worth the investment to go ahead and grab yourself a sling box, especially if you have a DVR. You can record live TV just like this. So I'm recording the television show right here. Of course, you can schedule recordings. Anything you can do at your DVR, sitting in front of your television, you can do with the Slingbox app. No, granted, it's not exactly intuitive. For instance, if you bring up the menu here, if you like tap on the record button on this actual DVR menu, it's not going to function. It's not going to interact with the menus that run on the actual DVR box. It has to go through the Slingbox menu. And the Slingbox menu isn't very intuitive, I found. I mean, it works, but it's not the most intuitive menu in the world. But a lot of that blame falls on the actual set-top box interface. It's just terrible outright. So, of course, having another interface on top of that is not going to be the most intuitive thing in the world. Set-top boxes for cable 
are terrible. All right, so you also have uh, gestures as you see there, swipe down or swipe up, goes up a, up a channel or down a channel, left or right, goes back or forward in your favorites as well. So you have that, that swipe gesture functionality built into the Sling Player app right there on your iPhone. Again, let me just stress, if, you, if you're paying for cable television, you're paying 100 bucks a month for cable TV, and you're a big TV watcher, for instance, if you're a sports fan, then cable is pretty much a necessary evil. I mean, if you really want to stay up to date with sports, what's going on through the season, then it's online has some streaming options, but it really is nowhere near what you get with cable. It's almost a necessary thing if you're a sports fan. With that in mind, if you're paying for cable, really a, a $200 to $300 Slingbox investment is a worthwhile investment. You get to watch your cable everywhere. You liberate your cable television. You're not stuck watching it at home or wherever you want to watch it. You can watch it on your computer. You can watch it on your phone, anywhere via cellular connection or on a Wi-Fi connection anywhere. So really it's worth the investment. If you're going to pay for cable television, I really don't see why you would not have a Sling Player slash Sling Box combination here. And the Sling Box I have, the 500, actually streams wirelessly so you don't have to have an Ethernet cable hooked up to it if you don't want to. And it has HDMI built in the 500 as well. Now if there's one major gripe I have with the Sling Box, it is entering in passwords and stuff with the on-screen remote control. It makes you want to tear your hair out. It is so slow, so cumbersome, so ridiculously lame that it makes you just want to give up. So. Keep that in mind, entering in text with the, the on-screen keyboard on the Slingbox is horrific. It's a horrific experience, let me tell you. But besides that, the Slingbox 500 is definitely worth your time and your money. It gets the most out of your cable television investment, and it's a absolute must for sports fans. If you travel, if you're always on the go, and you want to keep up with your favorite teams, get yourself one of these. You will not regret it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.